Welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be me taking accountability for forgetting to blow out a candle plus a candle review as you can tell where this is going. Um, so let's just go ahead and dive right in. So first off, as you can see, the wax color is a little murky and that is not Kringle Candle's fault. That is my very own fault. Um, I moved this candle in my office to an area that I don't look at very much. It's where I burn like my candles that I already have a good understanding of. Um, and let's just say I forgot about it. And this little three wick was burning for 12 plus hours. And it looked fine when I blew it out. Like the jar wasn't messed up. The wicks weren't messed up or anything. But then when I went to relight it the next day, that's when the wax kind of got murky. Let me see if I can show you guys real quick. So it's honestly not terrible for what it is like for me burning this for 12 plus hours so don't be like me and forget your freaking candle that's on fire <laughs> um i the second after the first burn the second burn i had like a little bit of mushrooming i just pulled that off very carefully have not trimmed this um and the wicks are perfectly like the right height the flames aren't too high um nothing like that so this again, because I don't want to see comments or be like, oh, I saw this girl's video and her wax was super murky and gross. I am saying I'm the problem. It's me. <laughs> okay. Insert Taylor Swift here. The candle performance itself was amazing up until that point that I forgot. Like, I forgot that I was had it, had it on fire, basically. <laughs> um, so don't do that. Do, this, do as I say, not as I do. So let's go over the scent notes real quick. Um, let's see. I'm trying to read on my computer real quick because I'm recording this in such a weird area. But caramel strands, sugar crystals, vanilla orchid, star jasmine, oak moss, crimson blooms, red amber, and gilded musk. So this is being talked about as being a close dupe. Maybe not exactly as the Baccarat Rouge 540. Um, it's a very expensive high-end perfume. Um, this reminds me like a little bit of Ariana Grande Cloud in a way, but more vanilla and like not as pungent on like a musky type of scent. I do enjoy this. I will be getting the Three Wick again um, when I place an order today just because I, I messed this candle up. Um, I feel so bad because I really was enjoying this burn. I wish I had like, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw how clean the burn was when I was burning it. So <sighs> I still want to do the review though. This candle, I would give it, I do have an older home. So I have a lot of walls, a lot of like doors and rooms. I'm not, it's not very open concept except for my kitchen. We move things around. So it's very open in there now. In my living room and basement are a more open concept feel. I did have this burning in my office first, which is normal bedroom size for reference. And I would give this a medium high, leaning more high throw um, in a small bedroom. And then when I moved it to my living room, I would give it more like medium, like a good medium, like a very guest friendly, not too overly strong, but you could tell there was a fragrance going in there. Um, and then I moved it to my kitchen, which is obviously more things like your cooking and stuff. I could smell this over cooking with different spices and seasonings. And this actually overpowered those cooking smells that we normally get. So I really enjoyed this candle. I still do, obviously. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and put this under my lamp just because, like, I, I messed it up. <laughs> I... I feel terrible that I messed this up, but it's such a good candle. I do really recommend this candle if you like more of like a girly, vanilla, 
romantic date night kind of scent and the hand painted jar is stunning when this is burning you can kind of tell now with the eiffel tower and the roses and things like that on there i love this jar so much um yeah i'm definitely ordering a new one because i do love the fragrance i also had the little daylight which i don't have it near me the little daylight going in my um wax warmer actually instead of burning it i put those in my wax warmers to continue to have the fragrance between burns because I love the fragrance that much. Like if this, if Kringle made like perfumes and sold them online and they made this into a perfume, I'd buy it. I ain't gonna lie, I'd buy it. So I didn't wanna give up on this candle. Um, I already recorded the part that you just saw, but I did not want to just throw her in the, like in a candle crock or a lamp. I wanted to give her another shot because I made the mistake myself, so I was trying to fix my mistake. So I went ahead and cotton balled that murky wax that you guys just saw and trimmed the wicks down because I had to. They were very long and kind of leaning because they were a little heavy because I took out that wax. So I trimmed them down to a good length, relit it, and now we're here. You can tell now this is what the wax looks like when you first burn the candle, when you actually burn it for an appropriate amount of time clear all the way through I can literally see to the other side of the candle this is a terrible angle but I can see through the wax and there's no sooting on the jar I made sure of that when I blew it out earlier um, just to make sure it wasn't the candle itself so I do fully believe that it was I mean obviously it was my fault but it was the carbon fibers or I think they're called on the wicks that just slowly got into the wax and discolored the wax it was not a sooting problem so I wanted to share that in this video just because I think it's super important to share that sometimes if not most of the time it can be the candle user error and not the actual candle itself I feel like I've seen some people this might be a little controversy but oh well some people expect one candle to literally burn for hours and hours and hours and hours and fill their entire home from top to bottom and I mean the tip of your roof to the bottom of your foundation some candles just don't do that some candles shouldn't even be burned for more than four hours this one I have burned for eight hours before and it was perfectly fine I think once it reached that 12 plus hour mark it, the wicks just got too hot and it just discolored the wax so at least I wanted to share that just because it just shows that I'm holding myself accountable for this candle, but it is not the brand. So I think that's super important as well, that this brand is not a sooty type of candle brand like we see with other brands. Like, it's hard to mess these up. Um, they burn very clean all the way through, and you can tell I'm reaching the bottom of the candle, so I probably have... A few more burns left of this honestly um like once it all really melts down i'll probably uh wick dip it out for the day and then relight tomorrow but i did fix it i just want to make sure to add that in there um and i added on my instagram as well that i fixed it so i'm really glad this was fixable for my mistake and that the kringle sorry that was maya but the kringle candles are clean burns and this just smells great in here and I'm actually glad I'm finishing this up just because I know how much I love it and I'm going to get another one. Definitely make sure you give me a follow, subscribe, like, comment. Did you get this candle? How was your performance in your house? Um, and yeah, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you.